on a warm, sunny day, the local park buzzed with the laughter and excitement of children playing. In the middle of the green expanse, a group of kids gathered around a large, colorful parachute that rippled like a rainbow. Among them was a seven-year-old boy named Jack, his eyes wide with anticipation. Jack loved the park, but the parachute was his favorite. The moment he saw it unfurl, he ran to join the other children. They stood in a circle, each holding a section of the parachute. It was a brilliant swirl of red, blue, yellow, and green, and it gleamed in the sunlight. Ready? Called out one of the older kids, and everyone nodded eagerly. One, two, three, up! With a collective heave, the children lifted the parachute high into the air. Jack watched, mesmerized, as the parachute billed and swelled above him like a giant, colorful mushroom. They let it float back down, and then, with another shout, sent it soaring again. They played all sorts of games. First, they ran under the parachute as it floated back down, squealing with delight as they emerged on the other side. Then, they made waves, sending ripples and shivers through the fabric. Jack's favorite game was when, they trapped the air underneath, creating a dome they could sit under. It felt like a secret, magical world. Let's make the biggest dome ever. Jack suggested, his cheeks flushed with excitement. The kids agreed, determined to make this one the best. They all coordinated, lifting the parachute high and then quickly sitting down, trapping the air inside. The parachute floated down gracefully, forming a perfect dome that glowed with the sunlight filtering through its colors. Inside, the world was a kaleidoscope. Jack lay back, feeling the soft grass beneath him, and looked up at the swirling colors. The laughter and chatter of the other kids echoed around him, and for a moment, it felt like they were in a different world entirely, one made a joy in color. Eventually, the dome collapsed, and the children spilled it out, giggling and breathless. They spent the rest of the afternoon running, playing, and lifting the parachute until their arms were tired. As the sun began to set, casting long shadows across the park, the kids gathered for one last lift. They raised the parachute together letting it catch the golden light before it floated back down for the final time. Jack, sighed with happiness as he helped fold out the parachute. The day had been perfect, full of laughter, friends, and the simple joy of watching colors dance in the sky. As he headed home, he knew he would dream of parachutes and sunny days, and he couldn't wait to return to the park for another adventure.